this is me packing packing for safari again and i just came back from another safari and i haven't even I, i've not even unpacked some of my clothes some of the stuff that i had from the other safari and have you have you guys done this before you go somewhere you go on a safari and then when you come back you have to leave the following day and so the stuff that you had carried for the previous safari you cannot unpack them because really most of the stuff that you are using there are the same stuff that you'll be using here so this is me and it is late at night everyone is asleep yeah everyone is asleep apart from me because i really had to pack because i have i'm leaving very early in the morning as everyone else is asleep and i have to do this because if i don't pack now i'll be late i'll miss my whatever my means of traveling so guys let me know how did you handle this i'll the, my previous safari i was with my family i was with my kids and now i have to live alone tomorrow very early in the morning as the kids are still asleep and i feel like i'll really miss them and i have to do this i have to leave them because some are still at school and schools opened just recently so they have to be left behind because they cannot miss school for safari and anyway mama has to do this Mama has to safari. Mama has to work. So guys, I love traveling. I really love traveling. And the best part of my traveling is when packing. I really like packing. But I get a lot of challenges. Wondering what to carry, what not to carry. What, what not to carry. And I find myself carrying most of the stuff that I'll not be using. But like here, I have, um, I, I think I'm carrying stuff that exceed the days that i'll be staying there but i have to do it because when traveling i always find myself packing extra stuff that i don't need like clothes like uh, i could be going there for three days and i find myself carrying stuff that would take me for a week or even more and that's why my baggage my package is always very heavy even when when traveling someone could wonder when he, you're traveling for how many days and i don't know let me know you guys have you found yourself in this situation like the one i am in that i have to travel tomorrow most of my stuff are still in the bag i'm adding some of the clothes that i'm not even sure that i'll use that i'll need the shoes the to do the sibabangi mingi i always find myself and under should if there's such a word because i don't always carry shoes that are enough for my safari so if you guys enjoy with me in this safari i'll i'll show you where i'll be going to tomorrow but right now i don't want to say it you'll see it towards the end of this video and i'm sure you guys will love this bye bye Let's do this, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Thank you. here we are and i know most of you can really guess where we are going to and your guess is right yes you're right we are going to mombasa and mombasa here we come here we come here we go whatever mombasa here we come and we're definitely going to have fun Come with me, come with me.
let's enjoy this just arriving and this is going to be an awesome stay though short a very short one for that matter and this is sgr mombasa termina and now i'm on my way to the island i'll be staying in the northern side of mombasa north coast and we're just leaving i think this is called west of mombasa just uh yeah on our way from the sgr mombasa terminal and this is i think everyone who goes to mombasa uh the best or the only place that no one will ever miss is the beach it's the same with me and this is my mangena drive and i happened to be there when a ship was passing just a small ship and i took a video of myself i really i had fun i took a video i can't remember what I, what it is i was saying but i remember i was talking about the ship and there it goes then we'll go to ferry we'll see the ferry crossing the corny side of the ferry so this is Vita, uh, this is Nikoni Ferry. It's just arrived and guys are coming out to come to the other side of Mombasa. They've just come from Likoni side. And these are the vehicles. Vehicles are the ones that start. Then the passengers follow to avoid, you know, confusion and to avoid any accidents that may come up so yeah that's all for me the rest of my stay in Mombasa was enjoyed while doing some official work I was there on, a, on an official visit and I couldn't fail to spare some time to have to enjoy myself to visit Mamangena Mamangena is usually my spot when whenever I'm in Mombasa because it's it's not costly and i don't i don't go there to do anything i don't go there to spend i just go there to you know have a look at the ocean and just feel the breeze mombasa has really changed and this is the face of mamangena drive which has really changed it even has security and now i'm on my way back This is at night. There were some fireworks going on. I can't remember what it is that guys were celebrating, but there were some celebrations going on. Down the, this is downtown. Uh, no, this is called yeah. This is down. Ah uh, no, this is called Old Coast, Old Town. Yeah, this is Old Town where some celebrations were going on. Although I didn't get to know what they were celebrating about, but it's the common thing with coast. Costarians, they are always celebrating. They are always in celebration mood. Yeah. And now, on my way back, I'm on my way back to Nairobi. And thank you so much, guys, for always tap, stopping by to watch my videos. Thank you so much for watching this one. And I ask you to kindly like, leave me a comment, and share with your friends. Let's do this together. And... Thank you once again. Bye.